Hey, 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 YouTube. It is your girl, Tasty Redbone, and I am here with a what's in my hair video. So I have done a video like this in the past, and I'm really feeling like my hair. Like, this is a nine day old flat twist out. Um, how I maintain this and how I do my twist outs. I am going to do a tutorial on, yeah, I'm going to do a tutorial. So, <laughs> I do it just slightly different than a normal flat twist out. It's slightly modified because I have um, fine, thin, 4A hair and the ends of my hair curl like no other. And so I have to, like, treat it a little differently. Um, and I'm definitely doing this video because my friend Ella, hey girl, how you doing? She wanted to see the length of my hair and I know she couldn't see the length of my hair in some of my previous videos. So, um, yeah, I definitely wanted to do that for her. Um, yeah, so what's in my hair? Hmm, stuff that I have been using for, oh lord, you really can't see it on camera. Okay, so there it is. It is nipple length i don't know if that's a length but yeah it's down there it's, <laughs> it's down there it, it there it's, it's good it's, it's, it's there it's long so i have a lot of shrinkage so i mean a lot of shrinkage like what is this 80 90 percent shrinkage and because this is a flat twist out so when it's a wash and go it's even shorter so um yeah <laughs> That's a lot of shrinkage. So, what's in my hair? So, if you can see my curls. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, it did shrink up just a little bit because I did go walk in for like two hours in very, very humid weather. So, it did shrink up a lot. But, yeah, I've been maintaining, maintaining this for about nine days. And I had to stop today because I noticed some sad crustaceans going on this see what happened was so i was at an event i was trying to be all so cute and you know, so fabulous i parted my hair to the side little bangage going on and i put my hair up into a nice hot puff and everything and i used some extreme drill on my edges and now i got crustaceans so um this isn't the original extreme gel this is um a stronger version of extreme gel that i need to do a review on yeah it slicked down my edges but in the end i got some crustaceans going on right here some flakage that that's not hot that's not cute i'm sorry no so um the rundown of what's in my hair shampoo with my henna souk Burr Hemp Sue Pooh Bar. I conditioned with um, the She Sent the Avocado Conditioner. Um, I did hear that the formulation have changed. I ordered from them to see um, if it changed. And the bottle that I got, it has the old formula on it. So I would like to think that since the label has the old formula on it, that I got the old formula. And I'm kind of, I'm cool with that because I like the old formula. So, hey, whatever. Um, <laughs> leave it, oh, I did deep condition with my KBB Luscious Locks. Um, and I use my hot head to, you know, open my cuticles and get all the goodiness and stuff all up and through my hair. And stay tuned because I know I need, it's, I had that hot head for two years. And so I need to do a review on it. I promised the owner that I would. And she's sponsoring a giveaway, so... Stay tuned for that. Um, after that, I use a leave-in. The leave-in that I use is this right here. Yeah. It don't come in this size. This is what I do. I use up a bunch of stuff. I only buy in large sizes most of the time. Anyway, after I find out that I like it. So this is an old wind jar. Um, and I just dumped all of my Love Naturals, Love Me, and Leave Me in condition I dumped everything up and through here all of the ones that I had it's actually lower than this but it's about right here that's how much I have left and I use this on my hair um I, you know what I'm gonna do that video I keep saying I'm gonna do tutorials I want to do I'm inspired now to do tutorials the way that I use and twist my hair 
yeah I need to do I need to put that in the video that's what I need to do so um I use this as my leave-in now I still do butter my ends y'all know that I am avid about buttering my ends it helps me to keep the single strand knots at bay you know my hair is tightly tightly coiled um, so I buttered my ends all the time religiously and I'm using a creamy Ayurvedic butter. Um, this is a prototype so you can just use any butter. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a prototype creamy butter, an Ayurvedic creamy butter for something that I will probably be releasing later on in the year um, so that I will have two Ayurvedic butters. Um, and I was watching Curly Pad, Ashley. I was watching her use up the stash video and she mentioned that she uses one of my favorite gels to twist her hair with. And I always use that gel to um, do wash and goes. I was like, why didn't I do twist outs? So what I did is I took the bottle of Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic, and I started twisting my hair with it. And I absolutely love to twist my hair with the curly magic so I love it for wash and goes and now I love twisting with it so this is some shrinkage it's a little hot normally it's you know I get a little bit more length with with it but that's fine because I'm getting ready to wash it but I did want you to, guys to see how my hair looked nine days later after doing my hair initially and I'm cool with it and if if I didn't have the crustaceans going on in the sides of my head, I would still be doing my hair the blue out Lisa way nightly. And yeah, just untwisting it in the morning and going. Yes. Yes. So that's what's in my hair. I need to do these more often. I have been revisiting products and things like that. I've been using them in different ways and... I'm going to start doing that more often. Yeah, that would be nice. And show you guys what's in my hair. So, yeah. Hopefully this information helps. So, it's just a leave-in, cream in my ends, and a gel. And that's it. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye!